Oh, my dinosaur fell over. We're gonna help this dinosaur? No. How could you not help the dinosaur? I'm a T-Rex now to help the dinosaur. What you thinking, Ryden? <laughs> hey, stop, stop slicing your dad up. Let him oh. talk. No, you weren't, you weren't uh, strong enough to go through the sword. Oh. <gasps> but yes, it is Dino Riders time, but more specifically, it is Turbo Toy time. My name is Andy, and this is my son... Ryden. Ryden, and what kind of videos do we do? Toy. Yes, and today, we are doing Dino Riders. I just poked myself in the face with that, did you see that? <laughs> Come on, Pterodactyl, or Pterodon, whichever one, or Pteranodon, whichever one it is. Um, he's controlled by the bad guy. No, he's a good guy. Either way, Dino Riders were a very cool toy when I was growing up, and they were my favorite when I was a kid. To this day, I still think they are the best overall toy series ever. They're kind of hard to get, but I managed to pick some up recently, and we are going to have a Dino Riders battle. Book. But first, we're going to show you the ones we have out right now. Today? And we're going to tell you about them, aren't we? We're going to do the battle today. Yeah, we're gonna do this battle today. So see him right here? He's gonna fly over here, and we're gonna go to the table, and we will show you the other dinosaurs that we have. Ready? Yeah. Fly, fly, fly! He's flying. Okay, so here's the first dinosaur we are featuring, and actually, I'm pretty sure that all of the winged dinosaurs aren't technically dinosaurs. I heard that somewhere. Either way, this is the Quetzalcoatlus, and uh, I thought this was a Pteranodon, but it's not. All the winged ones are built really well, and in fact, most of toys back in the 80s and 90s were just built better than the ones today. This one was one of the basic dinosaurs you could get, so it wouldn't cost you a bunch, and look what it does. You wanna press this button? You press the button in the back, it flaps his way. Yeah, look at that. Fly. It flies! So that's really cool. So there's a button right back here. Just press it and he goes pretty good. Look, he's flying. He's flying, he's getting riding, he's gonna tickle riding, he just lost his blaster. And riding's gone. Were you scared that this was gonna get you? Okay. <laughs> this flew off, but um, these snap on pretty easily, so they can fall off kind of easily, but averagely they just kind of stick on there really well, but they don't break. They of course can break, but they typically don't break. They just slide on and come off really easy, so it's kind of nice. So here's the dinosaur, and we have a dino rider, which I forget what this guy's name is. I think he actually came on the Diplodocus. So this saddle just kind of goes on his tail and then clips around his neck, and this is on here pretty good. So you can go, and, you can go upside down, and the guy comes out too and his legs just go right there on that little thing that holds him in. So it's kinda cool. And now we can put these on the wings, right? You wanna put them on? Um, put them on! Put the blasters on his wings. That's how he fights the evil Rulons, which we'll get to eventually. There you go, all right, it's kinda little off center. There you go. See, Raiden just put the blasters back on, and he goes like, he even opens his mouth. His eye, I don't know if you can see it. It looks like an eye, it's kinda cool. Quetzalcoatlus, I think it is. I think it, I don't know, here it is. Okay, so here is the next one. Do you know what this one's called? Yeah. This is a Dimetrodon, which I think also is technically not a dinosaur. It's uh, from an earlier stage before the dinosaurs, but most people would call it a dinosaur. It's a big lizard with a fin. What's cool about him is that right now, he doesn't seem like he's anything more than just a dinosaur. I guess he has this metal shield, but that metal shield is not gonna do much, right? Whoa, Dad. That's right, look what's gonna happen. <gasps> oh my gosh! He's got blasters! See the blasters? Pew, pew, pew. And then, over here, there's a Dino Rider waiting to sneak out and a attack the evil Rulons. Does he have blasters on his chair? Yeah. I forget this guy's name too, I shouldn't, they all have names. Uh, but, yeah, so this guy actually, let's pull him out. He actually has a blaster on his arm too, which you can take off and you can put on everyone else. Including Ryan. You wanna put this blaster on your arm? It didn't fit, it fell off. Your arm is way too big. Guys, this guy has a what to do. What does he do? It opens his mouth. Yeah! There you go, look. Look at that mouth. See, it works. He's like, hey guys, hey Ron, you can't you got. Oh, you punch me! That's what you get for messing with the dinosaur, right? In. He's gonna bite you. So the moral of today is do not punch dinosaurs. Also, our Dino Rider fell off, but he's okay. Those are both good guys. Those are the Dino Riders, all right? Yeah. But we have Raiden. Do you know what dinosaur this is? A T-Rex. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is the big bad guy of the Rulons. And this was- I'm gonna be this guy. You're gonna be a T-Rex? Yeah, so wow. the feet This was the big toy when I was about Raiden's age. I asked for it for so long, I remember, well, so long for a five-year-old. 
and I eventually got it. But I remember we moved across town and my parents threw all of my diner runners out and I was crushed and I lost this dude. But this guy was the big boss and to this day, it's a really cool toy. I think it's the best diner runner toy. Yeah, <clears throat> you should. So, we're gonna go over this. This yeah. guy has- I'm gonna go up, can I have it? Yeah, you can totally have it. I would take care of it. It is hard to find though. I got a crazy deal on all this stuff. Like I could sell all the stuff I bought and make a really good profit, but these mean so much to me because I grew up with these that I'm not looking to sell them at all. I do need to buy a few pieces to complete this set. So he's got a lot of blasters on him. He's got saw blades in case he needs to cut down trees. I think that's what he did with it in the cartoon. And then um, he, there's a shield over here that's missing. There's a claw that's right here that's missing. See, he only has one of them. It just came off. Goes right back on though. And then it needs a different base right here because one of the tabs for a blaster fell off. He comes with slots for four Rulons. And these guys were kind of cool. These were like aliens. I think this was Antor. This is Krulos. This is the big bad guy right here. Yeah. Did you, is he scary? He, no, not for me. <laughs> He's not scary for you? No. <laughs> Rasp, I think it was. Look at that. He's like a snake. And then there's an, even a spot back here for another bad guy. Wait, wait Ryden, what is your favorite thing about the T-Rex? That I can grab people and put it in that little cell. That's a cell? I didn't know that. So the cool thing about this, this is my favorite part about this, is that the brain box, the Valorians, the good guys, the Dino Riders, they had these like special amulets that let them talk to the Dino Riders. Rulons, the bad guys, weren't nice to the Dino Riders and they couldn't talk to them with these things, so they put brain boxes on them to mind control the, the dinosaurs to working for them. Ah. Yeah. That's really not nice. No, so if you guys have the opportunity to mind control a dinosaur, do not, right? Yeah. Because if you do, you will get... Tickle! Dude, I would never... Ryan, would I ever tickle you? Yes. I would, yep, I would. <laughs> but another cool thing about this is that he actually walks, and I have not tested it to see if this specific T-Rex walks or not. It might be broken because these are from the 80s. So I'm gonna go get a D battery, put it in this dude, and let's see if it walks, okay? Okay. Yep. All right, Ryden, we're going to test to see if this guy walks. There's a switch right on his tail. Wow, come on, get going. Oh. He's going really slow, but he is walking, isn't he? That's pretty amazing. Well, it technically walks, but he could do a way better job of walking. No offense to the T-Rex, but I'm a thousand times better at walking than this T-Rex. I am too, look. And you did just fall down, but now it is time for the T-Rex to take on the Dimetrodon and the Quetzalcoatlus. I just got You're gonna be the T-Rex? Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Me! You think you're gonna win? Yeah. Be a T-Rex, show me how you're gonna win. <laughs> and that's how the T-Rex is gonna win, huh? Yeah, not with a kick though. I was gonna say, I don't think a T-Rex can kick. It's battle time, right? Yeah. All right, may the best dinosaur win. Yeah, all right, man. We need more dinosaurs for dinosaur army. Let's go trap a dinosaur. Krulos, we have spotted a dinosaur. Excellent, our first capture of the day. That's what you think, Krulos. Looks like we have a battle. I say activate blasters. <laughs> I'm a T-Rex, now I'd help the dinosaur. What you thinking, Ryden? No, you're a bad T-Rex, not a good T-Rex. Oh, all right, man. I'm kind of sick of being a bad guy, though. Oh, don't, don't touch me. Well, hey, I'm gonna eat your finger if you if you keep doing that. All right. Nom, 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 that was a good finger, too. The guy on the back of my head is looking the wrong way. Hey, Krulos, why don't we even up the fight? Get back down here, Dino Rhino! I've got him, Krulos. Baby! <laughs> got him down, I win! Oh, yeah, two dinosaurs. 
What are they gonna do? That's it, I win. For now. But I think this battle is gonna be to be continued. We don't know where this guy is. I know I'm a small guy, but I'm such a big fan of your work, dude. I really am. Oh, thank you. Uh, how did you get on my roof? Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. So there you guys go. That was a, a Diner Rider battle, and we are going to do one more. I actually had one that was broken uh, that I didn't put in this video that I got when I got the T-Rex, and he's a big guy. So maybe I'll collect a few more, and we'll have an ultimate Dino Rider battle. Would you like that? Yeah. So the good guys can win, because the bad guys totally won there. Well, then I'll be the good guy. That's fine. All I'm saying is that the good guys gotta win, okay? Well, I win this round. You did win this round. High five. You did good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these are really, really cool toys. They're so old that they're kind of fragile, so you gotta be careful with them. But, but as a whole, like, if you got a new one in the package still, like, it'd be a really cool toy that's built fairly well. Like, they were all built pretty well, and they're a lot of fun. There's so many of them, too. Like, you can go on eBay or Google or whatever just to look at them, and they're really cool. Um, and we will not be donating those because these are my personal, like, I just got them to, like, make me feel young again. I'm gonna put them on my desk or something. I don't know. So, um... I'll have the T-Rex anymore. And I'll give it to you when you're old, when I'm older. And pass them down on to you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a weird thing to pass on to your kids, a dinosaur T-Rex. A toy T-Rex. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we do videos on all sorts of toys, so we will be back soon with another video. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, and... The subscribe button, and the bell button, and the love button, because everyone loves people. It's on the subscribe button. The love button's on the subscribe button? Yeah, you just type it. I didn't even know there was buttons. a love button. You just type the button, the, the, the love button. Oh, that's a button I didn't know about, but uh, either way, tune in for more videos, and uh, that's it. I hope yeah. you guys have a great day, and uh, you, you want to do the peace out? You want to do it? All right, do the peace out acting as if you were a T-Rex, okay? Peace out! Pretty good. Definitely T-Rexy. Also, I have a tickle <laughs> stick. Tickle stick. He's Got gone. You. He's gone. Go! Wow, he almost just fell off a vacuum. Don't jump on the vacuum. And neither should you guys. Don't jump on vacuums. Uh, can I have that? Don't, no, that's a tickle stick. Don't. <laughs> You're never gonna look at me? That's gonna be really hard. You got a lot of years to go before you're 18. 